barge into our room, start looking through our personal private stuff, demand I hack into a computer I think I can safely assume doesn't... Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Please continue. You stick that in me, I'm going to stab you in the heart with it. You ever see Pulp Fiction? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Do you know what they call a quarter pounder in France? <laughs> Do you know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Paris? A motel with cheese. I don't get it. It's from Pulp Fiction. Uh, you said I don't get it, do you? No. This is what I imagined was in the briefcase in Pulp Fiction. Night this is so Pulp Fiction. Oh, that is where I left my cell phone. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. Did you just quote Sam Jackson and Pulp Fiction? How do you choose your favorite passage? It's the Bible. There's there's so many great ones in there. That one from Pulp Fiction is pretty cool. Oh, Glenn, I was so worried about you. Are you all right? No, no, I, I'm pretty far from all right. Has anyone seen this film we're referencing? Am I the hero or the love interest? Oh, fiction? Yeah, I saw it on the airplane. It's cute. It's a 30-minute film about a group of friends who like cheeseburgers dancing in the Bible. But having kids makes you so soft. I used to watch Pulp Fiction and laugh, and now I'm like, that poor Kemp is somebody's child. We gonna find these guys, get my money, and shoot them in their faces like Marvin in Pulp Fiction. Said we gonna do it on purpose. What? What country you from? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English in what? What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Spray painting the front of Babylon Gardens? Ringing any bells? What? Say what again. I dare ya. I double dare ya. What? Uh, Dad finally retrieved the watch after a good old yodeling contest. He gave it to me. And now, little man, I give the watch to you. He knew that if the gooks were to get their hands on the watch, they would take it. So he shoved it up his ass. I have no idea what you're doing. Why is Christopher Walken? I don't care. Something on my butt for 60 seconds, whatever. Yeah, I mean, Christopher Walken had a watch up his ass in Pulp Fiction. Dude, that's funny. Do that for Stan. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What do you get when you cross an orange with Quentin Tarantino? Pulp Fiction. You get it? Oh. Pulp. <laughs> After Pulp Fiction, a gun aimed my way in a car makes me nervous. I'm JT, by the way. This is fucking Pulp Fiction? Am I supposed to be afraid? I don't know. I didn't see it. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? Royale with cheese, motherfucker. I love this Negro! Yeah. No one knows I collect toy pigs dressed like movie stars. Which one is that? Uh, this is actually Hamuel L. Jackson from the movie Pork Fiction. It's extremely rare, and I am keeping it. Okay, then. What's the plan? Just to be open to the universe. Okay, so no plan. Just walk the earth like jewels at the end of Pulp Fiction. I have to find a spell, but I can't see anything. Well, remove the shades, Miss Pulp Fiction. Roger stuck a syringe in my chest. I was playing Pulp Fiction. The bitch was ODing on me, and I gave her a shot in the heart. Leave him alone, Stan. He thought you were an ODing bitch. Now, should we stick a needle in our heart or something? This ain't Pulp Fiction. Jack Rabbit Slims. Just like the diner in Pulp Fiction? You don't know how to say porcupine, but you know the diner from Pulp Fiction? Somebody order a wet-haired black guy to help with your revenge and sometimes speak louder than necessary. Donuts. I got donuts. I got... Hey, I know you. Oh. Or else we will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Ezekiel. Tarantino. <laughs> 